Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the multiple choice questions based on solutions. An alloy is a homogeneous mixture of alloy is obtained by mixing two or more substances in which one must be a metal. So, in the given options, option A is two solids, B is two liquids, C is two metals and D is two non-metals. So, option C is the right answer. Sugar dissolves in water due to the formation of. So, whenever sugar is placed in water, it dissolves in water due to the formation of hydrogen bonding. In a saturated solution, there exists an equilibrium. So, whenever if we consider a saturated solution, a saturated solution contains maximum amount of the solute. So, always excess of solute will be present and there exists an equilibrium between the excess of solute and the solution. So, in the given options here option B that is there exists an equilibrium between solution and excess of solid is the right option. Which of the following does not depend upon the temperature? So, generally the concentration is expressed in terms of molarity, molality, normality and formality. So, the temperature is independent of molarity. That means molality does not depend upon the temperature. Why? Because here in case of molality, both the solute and solvent will be present in the solid state. So, temperature will have negligible effect on the solids. Hence, molality does not depend upon the temperature. When a saturated solution is prepared at a higher temperature is cooled, we get saturated solution means it contains maximum amount of the solute. So, the solubility depends upon the temperature. So, as the temperature increases, the solubility also increases. So, whenever if we consider a saturated solution and the temperature is increased, then what happens? More and more amount of the solute can be dissolved. But here in this case, here the temperature is decreased. That means we will get a super saturated solution. So, at a higher temperature, when a saturated solution is prepared and when it is cooled, then what happens? The solute will precipitate out from the saturated solution and that results in the formation of super saturated solution. Which among the following is insoluble in water? So, coming to the solubility, like dissolves in like. That means here the solvent is water, water is a polar solvent. So, polar substances are soluble in water. So, here we have to identify which of the following is non-polar. So, in the given options, benzene is non-polar and hence it is insoluble in water. The normality of 2.3 molar sulfuric acid solution is here normality and molarity are the two terms used to express the concentration. Here the concentration is already expressed in molarity. So what is the molarity of sulfuric acid? It is 2.3 molar and we are supposed to calculate the normality and there is a relation between normality and molarity. That is normality is equal to molarity into charge. Here what is the molarity that is 2.3 and coming to the charge we can consider either the charge on the cation or on the anion. Here the cations are H plus ions and we are having two H plus ions. 
so the total charge on cations is plus 2 and hence we have to multiply with 2 and finally the normality of the given solution is 4.6 normal and hence option D is the right answer. 8 grams of substance of molecular weight 40 is dissolved in 250 grams of water. What is the molarity of the solution? So, we know the relation between the molarity and weight of the substance and that is molarity is equal to weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by V in ml. So, let us substitute the given values. Here, what is the weight of the substance? 8 grams. Gram molecular weight is 40. And coming to the volume in ml, that is 250. Okay, so after simplifying, it is equal to 4 by 5. So, that is equal to 0 0.8 molar. So, option B is the right answer. The normality of solution obtained by dissolving 5.3 grams of sodium carbonate in 1 liter of the solution is here already the volume of the solution is given in terms of liter so the normality can be directly calculated by knowing the number of moles number of gram equivalents so normality is equal to weight by gram equivalent weight here what is the substance given that is sodium carbonate and its molecular weight is 106 how to get the equivalent weight? Equivalent weight is equal to 106 by the charge on either cation or anion. Here sodium is the cation and total charge is plus 2. So by 2. Equivalent weight is equal to 53. So on substituting, so the weight of the substance is 5.3 grams and gram equivalent weight is 53 and that is equal to 0.1 normal. So, option B is the right answer. The following solution has same normality and molarity. So, what type of substance will have same values for normality and the molarity? If the substance has anion, and the cation charge equal to 1, then that substance will have same values for the normality and the molarity. So, we have to check the given options. In the case of sodium carbonate, the charge on the cation is plus 2. And coming to the sodium chloride, the charge on cation is plus 1 and also on anion is minus 1. So, option B is the right answer. 5 moles of a solute dissolved in 10 liters of the solution. What is its molarity? So, we are supposed to calculate the molarity. Here, the number of moles is given. So, molarity is equal to number of moles divided by volume of solution in liters. So, in this problem, the number of moles is equal to 5 and the volume of the solution in liters equal to 10 and finally it is equal to 5 by 10 and hence it is 0 0.5. So, the right option is C. Formation of solution is so, whenever the solute is dissolved in a solvent, it dissolves and results in the formation of a solution which is totally a physical change. So, formation of a solution is physical change. In which of the following solution, the quantity of solute is more than solubility? So, in a saturated solution, maximum amount of the solute is present in the dissolved state. Coming to the unsaturated solution, it contains less amount of the solute. 
so super saturated solution contains the solute which is more than the solubility so option c is the right answer which of the following solutions contains less number of h plus ions per liter so in the given options we have to identify which of the solution contains less number of h plus ions so in the given options almost so each and every one is having the same concentration so we have to check the given substances nature so sulfuric acid hcl hno3 or strong acids they undergo completely dissociation and hence contains more number of h plus ions whereas acetic acid is the weak acid so it dissociates to the lesser extent and hence it contains less number of h plus ions so here option d is the right answer one mole of any of the particles contains so when we consider one mole of the any substance it contains avogadro number of particles so what is the value of avogadro number it is 6.023 into 10 power 23 so option c is the right answer molecular weight of sulfuric acid is how to get the molecular weight so whenever the atomic weights of each and every atom is added we will get the molecular weight so for h2 it is equal to the atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 and we are having two such atoms so it is equal to 2 and coming to the sulfur its atomic weight is 32 coming to the oxygen its atomic weight is 4 16 and we are having four such atoms so it is equal to 64 and finally it is equal to 98 so option c is the right answer volume of water required to convert 100 ml of 0.1 molar solution to 0.05 molar solution is so in order to get the volume we have to use the formula volume of water to be added is equal to m1 minus m2 by m2 into v1 so here m1 is 0.1 and m2 is 0.05 divided by 0.05 and what is the value of v1 that is 100 so it is equal to 100 so option c is the right answer molarity of pure water is so pure water molarity is supposed to be calculated so when we consider 1 liter of the pure water so its weight is 1 kg and hence it is equal to 1000 grams and divided by what is the gram molecular weight of the water its gram molecular weight is 18 so the molarity is equal to weight by gram molecular weight here already the volume is mentioned in terms of liter so it is equal to 55.55 so option d is the right answer molar solution contains so whenever a molar solution is given definitely it contains one mole of any substance so coming to the given options first option is gram mole of solute so in other words a molar solution contains gram mole of the solute and coming to the option b one mole of solute it is also right option and one molar solution contains avogadro number of solute particles so a b c are right options and coming to the d all the above so all the above is the right option in this given multiple choice question coming to the 20th question that is which of the following compound readily forms a super saturated solution so in general hypo forms a super saturated solution and its formula is na2h2o3 so option c is the right answer this is all about the multiple choice questions based upon the chemical bonding 
इफ यू लाइक दी वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए नाइस डे